The M4 Mac Mini, a powerhouse of efficiency, now demanding a display that matches its prowess. In this video, we're unveiling the top 5 best monitors for your M4 Mac Mini in 2025. We'll be dissecting crucial factors like color accuracy, resolution, connectivity, and overall design, to ensure your workflow is seamless and your visuals are stunning. Whether you're a creative professional, a coder, or simply seeking the ultimate home office setup, we've got the perfect monitor for your M4 Mac Mini. Number 5. Apple Studio Display. As an Apple product, it's no surprise that the Apple Studio Display is well optimized for use with Mac Mini. The most obvious upside is the 5K panel itself. With 5120 by 2880 pixels on a 27 inch panel, you're getting fully 218 pixels per inch. That's enough for macOS to do its beautiful, high DPI thing with fonts. Text really does look gorgeous on this monitor. As a straight SDR monitor, the studio display is pretty sweet. It's rated up to 600 nits brightness, which is plenty, the colors are accurate and the viewing angles are fab. However, there's no HDR support of any kind, no local dimming or any of the other trick stuff that some monitors, including Apple's own Pro Display XDR, have to increase dynamic range. Still, connectivity is absolutely on point for using with Mac computers, including the Mini. With three USB-C ports, it can act as a powerful hub for connecting peripherals and features like the webcam are properly integrated with macOS, so it supports center stage tracking technology. Nice. In typical Apple fashion, the speakers are also a zillion times better than any comparable screen. The main downside is price. It's expensive for a 27-inch monitor with no HDR support. What's more, you have to pay extra if you want a stand with height adjustability. As standard, it only offers tilt. Ouch. The anti-reflective nanotexture screen cover is another pricey option. Oh, and the bundled Thunderbolt cable for primary connectivity to the Mac Mini is only 1M long. Longer cables are very pricey. All of which means the value argument for the studio display is tough to make. But if you can afford it and don't need HDR capability, this is still a very nice solution for the Mac Mini. Number 4. Dell UltraSharp U3224 KB. Dell knocked it out of the park with their highly featured 6K monitor. The company has managed to delicately perch this beautiful display right between Apple's Studio Display and the Pro Display XDR. The subsequent result is a more affordable, Gorgeous 6K display with color accuracy to go to bat against the Pro Display XDR and the features of the Studio Display, all with better port options for the masses. Our review of this display resulted in a perfect score, which rarely happens. The U3224KB UltraSharp 6K monitor features an integrated 4K HDR webcam, Thunderbolt connectivity up and downstream, HDMI, Mini DisplayPort, USB-A, RJ45, and USB-C ports. Essentially, this monitor is designed to not only be an additional display for your Mac Mini, but also be a Thunderbolt dock. Granted, a handful of those ports are available on the Mac Mini, but having additional ports for power users is always welcomed, especially when it doesn't clutter your desk. Dell also built an auto KVM switch that allows the ports to switch between connected computers seamlessly. In practice, you can have your Mac Mini and MacBook connected to this display, and perhaps a few other devices, and with a simple input switch, your mouse and keyboard, external storage, and even an internet connection could follow you between computers. Number 3. Apple Pro Display XDR. The Apple Pro Display XDR is the sort of monitor you may not need, but you'll definitely want. It's beautifully designed, of course, this is Apple. After all, a low carbon aluminum that's incredibly sleek, smooth, somehow next gen in appearance. One for the studio or home office, it's a big monitor for the compact Mac Mini, measuring 28.3 by 16.2 x 1.1 inches without the stand. But it's a 32 inch 6K screen. Expect 1600 nit peak brightness and excellent color coverage 
with out-of-the-box settings, expect 106.7% sRGB and 75.6% for wider DCI, P3 color gamuts. Apple also keeps connectivity clean, arguably too clean, so around the back you'll find a power connector, Thunderbolt 3 port, 3 USB Type-C ports, and the stand connector. And that's one of the biggest issues with the Pro Display XDR, the stand is sold separately, and it's not cheap. If you don't mind the monitor's expensive price tag, you'll find a display with wide appeal. Matthew Murray over at Tom's Guide tested out the $5,000 monitor for a month, and even found it difficult to go back regular PC monitors after trying it. He said, as much as I love Windows, the ease of use here was incomparable. And the sprawling variety of built-in reference modes, which include presets for home and office use, HDR video, digital cinema, photography, print imagery, and internet and web work, further ensures there's a usage scenario for everyone. Number 2. Asus ProArt PA279CV The Asus ProArt Display PA279CV has long ranked as one of the best monitors for the Mac Mini we've reviewed, and it's one of our favorites, too. Chiefly, because it offers a near-professional level screen at a seriously affordable price. This 4K monitor boasts 100% coverage of the sRGB color space, as well as 99% Adobe RGB and 99% DCI P3. In other words, if you're working in content creation, this Mac Mini monitor will provide sharp image and accurate colors. In our own tests, the screen, with its matte anti-reflective coating, delivered incredibly vibrant colors. The simple, unfussy design is nice, too, featuring thin bezels and a metallic finish plastic stand. When we discovered the clip on the back for cable management, we were even more impressed. Its power and OSD buttons are at the bottom of the device, where it sports a built-in ruler on the bottom bezel to assist content creators and photo editors. It's a shame about the internal power supply, but connectivity elsewhere is good. Alongside DisplayPort over USB-C, the monitor has two HDMI V2 ports, one DP, and four USB 3.1 Type-A downstream ports. Its USB-C with power delivery comes in handy if you share your Mac Mini monitor with a MacBook Pro, as the monitor can deliver 65W of power. Number 1. Bank PD2725U the Bank PD2725U is a top choice for those searching for the best monitor for their Mac Mini. In our tests, this monitor delivered stunningly clear and vibrant visuals with its 4K UHD resolution, and we especially liked the 100% sRGB color accuracy for content creation. For us, one of the standout features of the PD2725U is its dual-view function, which allows you to split the screen into two parts and display different content on each half. This is particularly useful for professionals working with design or video editing software, as it allows them to preview their work in different color spaces or screen sizes. We were impressed with the connectivity options here. The PD2725U has a range of ports, including HDMI, DisplayPort, and USB-C, making it easy to connect to various devices. It also has a built-in KVM switch, allowing you to easily switch between your Mac Mini and other computers using a single keyboard and mouse. However, we did find the speakers noticeably poor compared to rival displays, and we'd suggest hooking up a pair of decent set of speakers or cans if audio is important to you. It's a minor complaint though, as overall, the Bank PD2725U proved to be a versatile and high-performing monitor for the Mac Mini. You will find all the links of these products in the description below comment below and tell us which monitor for M4 Mac Mini you were considering thanks for watching this video don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends and if you are new to the channel then subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates.